Life is hard. It's hard. It's rough. It's bad. It's tough. It is, it's, it's disgusting. It's dirty. Uh, it's nasty. It's belittling. Uh, it's harmful. It's hurtful. It's downright dangerous. All of those are the case. But he chose you to battle through it. He has blessed you and anointed you to work through it. He has called you. He's made you to be the right people to fight. Like Esther didn't think she was up for the task. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. You have been chosen. Why and how? For such a time as this. You are the people that God has put on the battlefield. Even while you're going through the battle, you got to struggle with your children at home. You got to struggle with your wife or with your husband or with your job. Yeah, he chose you. You are the reason why there's the ability for anyone to have hope. You, you are the person that people can look up and see they're making it. Something about her. I know she's going through. I know he's struggling. But look at the smile. Look at the walk. He ain't bent over. He's got his he's got his shoulders, his shoulders back, his chest out, his head up high because he's there's something about him. I got to ask him what's going on. That's why Jesus says, let your light so shine that men and women will see your good works. They'll see how you're walking, see how you're talking, how you're doing your job on the semi line behind the desk, typing, talking with them. They'll see all of those things and see how you carry yourself and the light that you give off. And because of that, not because you said all those things, those sweet, nice things that sounded godly, but because you acted godly. And he says, if you do those things, then men and women will see your light, your good works. And then what will they do? They will glorify God. I want you to hear this one thing, guys. I know we can we can sit and look at all the bad things of the world, but you guys are the good of the world. You guys represent the good that the world can offer. Nothing in you specifically is good, but the Holy Spirit. And God has decided, think about this for a second. It's not like God is wasting his Holy Spirit. He's, he's not just, you know what? Because he's the one that said, don't cast your pearls before the swine. So why would he give people who aren't worthy or who are no good the Holy Spirit? He has put the Holy Spirit in you. Why? to equip you to do battle with the devil and to bring more people to him. You are the superheroes that God has chosen. Amen.